Inscription is a sort of horror-based card game complete with random map layouts, encounters, puzzles, bosses, and a very mysterious main antagonist, Leshy. Leshy has kidnapped and trapped you inside his log cabin, which the player can navigate around and interact with various puzzles, items, and characters. Leshy forces you to play his card death game and if you lose, he traps the player's soul inside a card to be played in his game forever. The core gameplay comes down to a four-lane, deck-building, strategy game with many interactions and synergies with many different cards, and leaves for a highly engaging and interact card game experience. And of course, the more you play, and lose, the more opportunities for stronger cards, better synergies, and chance for escape. But what if you wanted to escape Leshy's death game on your first try, without ever being trapped into any death cards? Can you beat Leshy on your first try? In order to complete this challenge, it required some research and planning. And I did neither. You see, there are four bosses including Leshy himself. And while the bosses are interesting and all have unique mechanics and lore, it's not really the bosses themselves that are the problem in this run. The problem is when Leshy decides it's too soon and decides to cheat in order to kill you off and force you to die in order to introduce most of the mechanics of the game. WTF was I high when I wrote this? He spawns a bunch of bears which slap ya up if you are not careful or new to the game. There are also a few major mechanics that are locked in a first try run. The other two talking main character cards, I miss the entire bones mechanic and any bone cards, I can only solve one of the four or so cabin puzzles and probably some other cool crap I forgot about. My build changed significantly over many runs, but I can summarize it into two major strategies, one that failed, and I abandoned and one that did alright. My first strategy was to try and obtain a mantid card, or a mantid god if possible, and sacrifice the mantid and add their multi-attack ability to a wolf. I would also stack damage upgrades on the wolf to have 5 or so damage striking at 2 or 3 lanes. Combining this and any cards that I thought could support this wolf slash mantid setup, I set off to beat Leshy on my first try. At this time, I was a young naive fool, that thought I could have this video filmed in under an hour. Leshy didn't stand a chance against my almighty and powerful blue eyes white wolf surely. I was wrong. After 4 hours of resetting so often you could swear I was farming a shiny Leshy. I decided to call it quits for the night and jump into a game I was much more confident in. Oh. better. The next morning, I revised a new strategy. I optimally needed the Urizal card in time for the second boss, using the same buffing strat around the campfire, but also spreading out some effectiveness of other cards as the Uralula card is pretty dank on its own without power-ups. The second and most crucial part of my strategy, was something completely out of my own control. I needed skizzers, yes skizzers. Skizzers is an item you can randomly get out of a pool of a few different items which is also in a random encounter you need to come across on the map. The Skizorts item Skizorts one enemy card of my choice at almost any time. With this, I could Skizor the first bear in front of my Ural Mal card then end my turn and his 7 damage would finish the boss off. Beating the second boss, I marched onto the third. The Trapper slash Traitor. Also, Leshy's eyes stay red when you overcome the too soon mechanic. I thought that was interesting anyway. Now the first phase of the trapper is quite interesting, as his cards just straight skin your cards alive, then kindly give you the pelt back. WTF dude? This is why it was important to spread damage around a bit in this deck, I needed some bait cards to get to the second phase. I scuffed out the game once and discovered a neat mechanic I didn't even know existed. By farming cards after the boss had no cards left to play, starvation set in. This doesn't allow you to attack, at all, anymore. So, after resetting the boss, I played properly, reached the second phase, and played a clutch Uluru, followed by a dirty skeezer, and beat the third boss. 
now all that's left is Leshy. My heart was pumping, I was full of nervous energy, this had to be the run. I forgot to mention that at some time earlier I solved this puzzle and got this ring. Now this isn't necessary, but it really does help. Before fighting Leshy, he gives you two challenges to pass, and if you can pass them you get a big boon that helps greatly in the fight against Leshy. The ring allows you to pass one of these for free. On my first attempt I only got one boon and I died to something that was probably not my fault at all and just some BS. So that attempt doesn't exist. And my actual first attempt taking on Leshy, I got both boons. One boon allowed me to choose two cards instead of one each draw, and the other allowed me to choose any card I wanted from my deck when I draw cards. This allowed me full control over the deck and mechanics. I smashed through his first two phases with, I don't know probably my uranium card, I don't remember anymore, but then, his third and final phase, he captures the moon itself and uses it as a card against you. This card has lots of health and is basically like an enraged timer in WoW or some nerd game like that. It was a problem, but, I had one final ace up my sleeve, the one part of the plan I developed before pressing record on OBS, Touch of Death. Basically, if you play any card with the Touch of Death ability against the moon, the moon just dies. Putting an immediate end to quite an awesome boss and final antagonist. So what happens if you beat Leshy on your first try? Well, he gives you this. And when you refuse it, Leshy traps you in a soul card anyway, but with a victory card instead. And because you don't have the final cabin item to beat him and trap his soul in a card instead of your own, he kills you anyway. So, can you beat Leshy on your first try? Yes you can. If you made it to the end of the video, comment Ural Mouse so I know, and if you enjoyed, leave me a like and a subscribe, it helps. See ya.